artist, it's Miss Casino. Good to see you. This week we're gonna be sketch artists. Miss Casino, how are we gonna do that? Well, I'll tell you, there's been a crime, a local crime in the neighborhood at the screen door. Not really, I'm just pretending. Not really, but it's kind of fun. We are going to read about the crime in the instructions for the assignment. I think you probably already did that. Now you clicked on me and here I am. I'm gonna tell you what the assignment is. And then you're gonna watch two interviews with people, witnesses, who saw, they didn't see the crime, but they saw some sketchy, sneaky people sneaking around the screen door. Now, the screen door is a little local parlor, ice cream parlor, right near PS110. They sell delicious ice cream um, for great prices. And across the street is a, a variety coffee shop. Now, one of the witnesses was sitting enjoying a coffee on the bench outside of variety, and they saw a sketchy person come out of the screen door when it didn't look like it was open. And another witness was a bread delivery guy who was unpacking his truck at Met Superfoods supermarket right across, across the way, the other street there by a screen door. He saw another suspicious character. So you're gonna listen to two interviews with both, both witnesses and then you can choose to draw either character that's being described, or both, in a format that is a sketch artist format. So use a pencil, okay, and you're gonna use white paper. If you want, you can print out the most wanted sheet, right? Because that kind of looks official. Something that would police department would hang up. You could draw on that, or you could just draw on plain paper. Totally doesn't matter. Start with pencil. You can use pen when you're done and add color. I think you only need to add color if it's important, and I think one of these might be important. Okay, so what happened was the screen door, they went in the next day and they said, oh, what's missing? No money's missing. No, nobody's hurt. Everything, everything, nothing's damaged, but we're missing some really key ingredients here. Now, the key ingredients were for all the banana splits and all of the Reese's Pieces Brownie Sunday. What are we gonna do? We gotta find these guys and get these materials back. Not to say it's a guy, just say it. All right, so listen up. Get a pencil and paper ready because you're gonna write down what these people say, all the details. Then you're gonna make a drawing. Looking at all the details and descriptive words that they use, you draw me what you think they look like. Upload it to me by Friday. On Wednesday, this Wednesday, Instead of posting a new project, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post my version of what I think they might look like, listening to these, sus these uh, witnesses here. All right, so here's the first witness to the crime. Well, hello there. I'm uh, the bread delivery guy who uh, comes to Met every uh, late afternoon, early evening, and I was hanging out by the screen door unloading my truck and I peered around the corner because I thought I smelled something really good from the ice cream shop and uh, there were a few things that I saw about a sneaky character. Well, listen closely. The first thing was he had some sort of, he, he had a round head and some sort of folded brown paper cap. Yes. And then he had a round face and a pretty rotund round body. Yes, he did. Now, he had a black cane and he had a little spectacle, kind of like the peanut guy. Yeah, but a little glass, a little glass spectacle with a chain tucked behind his ear. What else did I see? Well, this guy had a fluffy, fluffy white puffy jacket. It was almost like fur, but curly, like a lamb. And then he had pants. Long skinny legs with long pants with little polka dots, almost like, I don't know, like some sort of chip or chocolate chip or I don't know, some polka dots going on there. And then he had very fast orange running shoes. Now, I didn't, I didn't see any more details because he was running so fast, carrying a bunch of stuff that kind of smelled really good like peanut butter. That's all I saw. 
Hope you can get something out of that. Thanks a lot. Well, hi. I was just having some coffee outside of Variety. It was late evening and I just, um, I saw something weird. There was like this lady or, or I don't know, it might have been a man. Well, they were sneaking around the screen door. And so I thought I'd, I thought I'd give you a few details about what this person looks like. Maybe we can catch them because I heard they stole some ice cream stuff. And, and that's not so good. Okay, so the first thing I saw, this person was very tall and thin and their head came up into almost a point. And, you know, they had a um, brown tuft of curly hair on the top. And I know this sounds weird, but a tiny little red hat that looked like a cherry? I don't know. I know it sounds silly, but I swear that's what I saw. And then a yellow tracksuit, like a running suit. Yeah, like that. Yellow tracksuit. And uh, I'm just going to have a coffee here. Mm. After I saw that yellow tracksuit, it was so bright, it almost blinded me, but I did see some brown, tall boots. And when I was looking at those boots, I looked over and they had a little dog with them too, like a hot dog dog, you know that type of dog? Yeah, like that. And what else did I see? Oh, I think she had, or I keep saying she, but I'm not real sure, a white flowing cape. Some sort of cape? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. That's my description, and I hope you can do something with it. We gotta get our ice cream back. Thanks so much.